I'm freaking out a bit. I'm so excited to have this set. Uh, today's video is the, oh gosh, what year is it? The 1989 Bowling Alley cassette player. <laughs> it's a cassette player. It's actually a functioning cassette player. Uh, and it's complete and I'm so excited to have this and it took me a long time to even locate a cassette in my house And I was surprised that I was able to find one. It's not the one I wanted to find We're gonna talk about that one in a minute, but I cannot wait to show you this. So let's get started Oh my gosh, I am so excited to show you today's video, which is the 1989 disco cassette player. This bowling alley set is unbelievably awesome. Oh, it is hard to come by. I bought this off another collector in the UK and I was so thrilled when it showed up. Um, it's in working condition, so I'm going to show that to you today, but uh, unfortunately I could only find one cassette in my house. Um, which quite frankly is I think a feat in its own. It's not like a lot of people hoard cassettes anymore um, But I had it from my previous collection if you saw my video where I talked about um, It was my Q&A video that I did at the end of 2021 uh, One of the questions that you had all asked me was do I collect anything else? Um, and I previously was really into collecting vintage Apple computer lapel pins. That was my it's a very niche, but that's what I collected. Um, and I still have that collection, but uh, as a former Apple employee, I did collect a few other pieces of memorabilia and one of them was a cassette. So um, I have that cassette in here. So just kind of a, my collections coming together to help each other out. So this set is really cool. Uh, as you saw in the footage there, it's got lots of buttons on the side. So play, fast forward and stop. There is no rewind. Just realizing that now, that could be frustrating for me as a kid. I rewound a song and listened to it all the time. So um, interesting. And then the headphone jack and volume control is on the top here. So uh, let's open this up. So the way that this works, the handle when you're carrying it, it stays shut. How does it do that? When the handle is in a very specific position, then you can pop this open. But if it's like this or this, you can't pop it open. So you have to be holding it flat that way to be able to open it up. So here it is inside. Um, it is quite something to look at. So this is supposed to be a bowling alley, but really it is just a really awesome place to hang out in general. There's a little bit of everything here. Um, so there is a bowling alley on the side, but this is, to the best of my knowledge, just a giant dance floor. Um, over on the left, there is a DJ booth with some headphones on the floor. And as you can see, this, this is a 1989 set. So some of those sets are lacking. <laughs> some color uh, so it's quite plain but um, lots going on it's quite chaotic it kind of has everything you would ever possibly think about doing so dance floors so this is like a nightclub area a bowling alley um, a trampoline with a beam so like a gymnastics <laughs> set um, and then I'm not sure if this is just meant to be a bench to sit on or if that's some sort of other equipment and then we'll work our way from top to bottom up here. So up here there is a bedroom slash living area scene. So we have bunk beds with some furniture and then a couch and a television. So like a general hangout quarters. And then down here there's a music room. So there's a drum kit and a piano and a billiard stable. Okay. And then I, I love how they've got the stairs connecting. So stairs here, stairs here. I used to always get caught up. I mean, used to, I do all the time now. Um, get caught up in the logistics. So I appreciate that there's stairs. 
Um, and then here we have, oh gosh, now I'm getting mixed up. That was a, I think this is supposed to be like a ping pong table, sorry. This is a billiards table, so that's a pool table. Um, and then there's a table to hang out, an arcade machine. And then this, I believe, is supposed to be like a soda fountain or cafeteria, so a place to get refreshments. And then more stairs, there's a sauna and um, what appears to be, I'm gonna say a steam room maybe. And some showers and a change room with some lockers. So um, that's a lot, that's a lot going on. I, <laughs> I can barely fit this in the uh, video there, but it's, there's a lot going on here. So that is the, the set itself. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the figures and then we will get into the actual cassette player function of it. So this came with a whopping six figures, which I mean, there's a lot going on, so I get that. But I also feel like some other sets are completely lacking figures when they should have them. So no rhyme or reason. Um, and great news, the figures are in amazing condition. So uh, first and foremost, as always, we have a Polly in this set and Polly is in one of her most classic outfits. She's wearing a pink dress, white shoes, red headband with a white bow tie around her neck. So that is the Polly. And again, just look at the paint on these, like they're just mint. Next up is Midge. And again, just, just excellent condition. And next is Tina. Tina, again, a very classic outfit for her in her pink dress with her white shoes. Now we've got buttons. <laughs> and Buttons has orange hair, a white and pink dress. Uh, it's kind of color blocked with some white shoes. Poor Midge, I didn't describe her outfit. She's coming back. She's got blue overalls and a green shirt and green shoes. <laughs> Here we go. And then um, I believe I'm getting this right. I think this is supposed to be Wee Willie. So he's uh, got blonde hair, yellow shirt, and blue pants with white shoes. And then the last is <laughs> Diddy. Um, and he's got brown hair, green shirt, sort of a almost a periwinkle colored pants and green shoes. So those are the whopping six figures that come with this playset. That is a lot of figures, but again, there's a lot going on. And just looking down here, it appears there are five places for the figures to stand. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. <laughs> Am I looking at this correct? No, there's six. Okay, we're good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. I, I just would not like it if there wasn't a space for everyone. That would drive me nuts. So I feel better. We can move on with life. Let's talk about the cassette player function. So uh, when you pick this up, it just simply lifts up. It takes you to the cassette area. And I have not tried it, but I figure that you could probably, yes, you could, you could store a second cassette there. Um, the other thing I like about this is that you could store the figures there. So I just find that things are less likely to be broken if you have a place to keep them. So um, it can offer two functions. The set itself, um, is operated by four AA batteries that just kind of barely fit in there. And you just hope that they pop into place when you put this down. Um, but that's how that is all set up. But I like that they also give you a little bit of room to put your finger to lift the cassette out. Um, that's what the mechanism itself looks like. And then the functions are on the side. So the speaker itself is on the bottom. Um, I can't remember how loud I left this. So I'm going to turn it right down and we're going to turn it on and, um, I'll just turn it on for a little bit. Uh, this <laughs> music is awful. Um, the cassette I want to say is probably mid eighties. Um, I'm going to hazard a guess it's around 85, um, maybe even earlier. So just be prepared for the fact that the music's not very good. Okay. 
So play function. This is supposed to be a Ghostbusters parody, which is awful. Um, fast forward, stop. So. Okay, so there's that. And then if we want to see it from the other way. Okay, so that is the cassette player function. So it's cool. Um, it's, there we go, a bit, um, a bit interesting uh, in hindsight that it doesn't have a rewind button. That would absolutely drive me nuts as a kid. Um, I love this, but I do feel a bit sad uh, that I can't locate a cassette that I'm pretty sure I still have, but I can't find it which is the, my most favorite cassette from my childhood, the Mariah Carey Daydream album, um, which some of my friends had on CD, but I didn't have a CD player until about 1996, Christmas, I think I got it. Might have been my birthday in 97. Neither here nor there, but uh, I didn't have a cass uh, CD player until about at least a year or two years after that album came out. So I had it on cassette and it is probably completely worn out and I think I'm gonna have to go hunt for it at a thrift store now but that's really what I wanted to play in here um, just to complete the vibe of my childhood so um, do you have for those of you that are at least for those of you that are in your 30s or older um, do you have a album that you remember listening to on cassette that just reminds you of your childhood for me it's that Mariah Carey daydream album but uh, I would love to know from a nostalgia perspective, do you have a cassette that you completely just like wore out in your childhood? That one was probably listened to so much. I'm sure it's in rough shape if I do still have it around, but I don't recall getting rid of it. So I'm going to keep looking. Um, but let me know in the comments and let me know what your favorite thing about this is. I mean, it's... It's such a great set. There's so much going on with it, but um, I'm really just excited to have it in my collection and to be able to have one that's functioning and complete. That's really, that's the, the goal with this set. So um, that is the 1989 Bowling Alley Disco Cassette Player. All right, so still on the hunt for that Mariah Carey daydream cassette. Uh, <laughs> that really is what I want to live in here, but uh, for the time being, any cassette will do, and I guess it could be worse. Uh, I feel like this one still somehow fits, oddly enough. What was your favorite thing about this, aside from the fact that it's a cassette player? Um, I do love the fact that the cassette player is kind of hidden underneath and that there's that little storage area that you can keep. Um, the figures, I always love if there's a hidden storage area somewhere. Um, I feel like that's one of the reasons a lot of sets do well over time in terms of not having broken pieces is if there is a dedicated storage area. So that's what I really love about this set. But let me know in the comments, what did you love about the cassette player. I'm so excited to have this. Um, as always, if you're on social media, please come follow along on social media. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. That's the easiest way to connect with me outside of social media. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel so much. Just a reminder, when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing my draw for my giveaway, which is a complete Precious Poppies playset. So, um, 
Polly Pocket Precious Puppies playset, just in case I wasn't clear. Um, so I'm really, really excited to give that out. So please hit the subscribe button uh, once we do that. And you have to comment on that video too. Go find the giveaway video um, for March and comment on it. And that's how you'll be entered to win. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can take part in that as well. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.